Hey, Dr. Clark here. Let me explain to you why thyroid hormone problems in women are, have got to be the most misunderstood and mismanaged health problems that a woman could ever face. And I'll tell you what brought this on. I mean, that, that's something that I help them with, women and men in my practice, is we work with thyroid problems. Well, you probably know at least one or two people, if you ask, ask the f first five people that you meet or that you know, they're probably one of them is going to be diagnosed with low thyroid. Now, here's where the confusion starts. The standard of care, medically speaking, for anyone with low thyroid is you give them thyroid hormones. That's pretty much it across the board, no matter why they're low thyroid. But see, that's the key, right? Not every person is low thyroid for the same reason. Here's the big shocker. I think you have to understand this. In America, the number one cause for low thyroid is an autoimmune condition called Hashimoto's thyroiditis, named after a guy named Hashimoto. It means that the number one cause for low thyroid being diagnosed with that in America is an autoimmune attack, meaning your immune system has turned on you and is targeting your thyroid and is killing it. And that's what's causing you to be low thyroid. But the standard, in fact, the standard of care for that is thyroid hormones. But I think you probably understand that it's not a thyroid hormone problem now. It's, that's not the battle. The battle is an immune system battle, an autoimmune. I mean, here's some examples of other autoimmune conditions, MS, rheumatoid arthritis, lupus. You've heard of these things. Well, what I'm telling you, and I hope this is sinking in, is the number one cause of low thyroid in America is an autoimmune process just like those where the immune system is attacking the body. And giving thyroid hormones isn't going to do crap for that. It's going to do squat for that. It's not going to do anything for that. What they're going to do is they're going to monitor your thyroid stimulating hormone levels, so your TSH, and they're going to try to make them stay within a certain numerical range. But it's going to fluctuate all over the place, and it's not really getting to the problem. The problem is your immune system. <laughs> so just the other day, I have a patient that comes in, actually someone I've known for a little while. She comes in, and she's been through the ringer over the last year. I mean, a lot of stuff has gone wrong with her. I mean, she's had to have a, a DNC. I mean, she's had all kinds of hormone problems outside of the thyroid. And we're sitting down, and we're talking, and she said she has low thyroid. And I said, well, I said, you know, the number one cause for that is uh, an autoimmune condition. She goes, Hashimoto's? And I said, yes. How do you know? She goes, well, I was just diagnosed with that. And I said, really? I said, thank God. Now we know. Now we already know what the problem is. You have an autoimmune condition. Now we've got to work on squashing that because unfortunately when you have this autoimmune thing kick off and attack your thyroid you can't stop it meaning you can't cure it it is a genetic condition Gen genes have turned on that are making this thing happen and unfortunately you can't stop it and if you don't stop it if you don't try to squash it and balance out and calm down the immune system it has a very nasty habit of going on and attacking other organs, which is exactly what had happened to this lady. It'll move from the thyroid. The immune system will not only attack the thyroid, but it will start attacking the cells in the lining of your stomach that help you be able to absorb B12, and you'll end up with a pernicious anemia. And then it'll move on and attack your pancreas and make you start to have diabetes symptoms, insulin problems, just like this lady. And then it'll even go on and it'll start to target and attack your brain a part of your brain called your cerebellum, and you'll end up with vertigo and dizziness and balance problems. Like this lady, it's all happened in the last five years for her. And she was flabbergasted. It made perfect sense to her that this is an immune system problem. Why am I not being treated for that? And I said, it's real simple. They don't know how. <laughs> they don't know what to do. And working with someone that has Hashimoto's is real simple. You've got to find out how their immune system is shifted. And if you've read any of my other uh, posts and videos, you know that the immune system's got two divisions. It's got a Th1 and a Th2. We have to find out which one of those has become abnormally dominant and why. It's because of an antigen, meaning something that the immune system has been trying to kill for so long that it's you know increased its immune attack on this antigen and then it flipped the scales and now we have an autoimmune condition. Antigens include food proteins uh, like gluten and casein, viruses, bacteria, even chemicals and metals, or has the immune system become unbalanced because of dysregulation? Hormonal surges can do this. 
Stress can do this. Blood sugar problems. Inflammation can do this. That's how you manage and figure out with a Hashimoto's patient how you can help them. Because giving them thyroid hormones is not going to do anything for that problem. It's not going to halt that, that horrible progression I told you about from thyroid to pancreas. It's not going to stop that. So if you know someone that's suffering with Hashimoto's, they've been suffering with low thyroid, they're taking thyroid medication, they don't feel any better, you know what? It's time to find someone who can investigate this further. And this has been bugging me for a long time. And this lady uh, coming in just kind of sent me over the edge. And I just find, you know what? i got to tell people about this because this is important. There's millions of you out there right now that have this problem and you don't know it. Millions of you. It's why you still have thyroid symptoms even though you're taking medication. We could talk about this for a long time, but I'm going to leave you with that. Just remember, uh, low thyroid, almost always autoimmune in America.